What's going on guys? I'm back with Tech Vitamins today and I'm going to be doing a very important review on some minor price cables. Um, I'm not here today to try to expose anybody or tarnish anybody's name, but I want to show you what I have found about some minor price cables, especially for audio. I was uh, n not pleasantly surprised, I'll tell you that much, and I want to compare it to a Mogami cable with uh, Nutrik or Nutrik connectors. So. I recently got a patch bay for my studio setup, and I knew I was going to have to get um, additional wires to uh, set it up correctly. And uh, I've already purchased a number of uh, minor price cables for the past year and a half, and I had some Mogami cables. Um, for the most part, I, f I felt like everything was working fine. You know, I'm running Pro Tools HD. Um, I got some high-end compressors and preamps. Until recently, right before I got the patch bay, I started having some random noise um, that was visible in my Pro Tools. Um, you know, the, the faders, the volume uh, level was just a little bit. Um, it was flickering at the bottom. So uh, before I got the, before I got more cables from Minor Price for the patch bay, I just wanted to see what they're constructed like. So um, again, I'm not here to expose anybody, but let me show you some examples of these cables that I found. And again, on many forums, I've heard very good things about minor price cables. For the most part, I mean, like 90% of the people will tell you they're great cables. They're very cheap, by the way. I mean, you're talking like six bucks for a 25-foot um, XLR, you know, female-male cable compared to Mogami, which is at like $50. But let me show you real quickly. Uh, what I found about some cables they were made about a year and a half ago that are purchased so this is a Mogami um, this is a male XLR connector and as I took this piece apart the contact right here as you can see where is it at there it is see it, it literally right there it literally broke on me I mean just look how bad the soldering job is on, on this and even in the ground wires, just there's copper all over the place, which may potentially touch, an, uh, you know, one of these live contacts. Uh, I mean, they're you know they're not quad cables or single cables. Also, I'm not saying you need quad cables. That's only for if you're experiencing interference. But I mean, th that's just bad, you know. And then let me show you the other side of it, which is the uh, quarter inch. Um, this is how their cables looked, again, about a year and a half ago. Um, so you see the connections and I hope you can see this the connection is just not solid I mean there's solid all over the place again if you look at the uh, the copper ground some wires coming out of it um, even these soldering uh, connects right here are just not that great to be honest and I don't know I mean you be the judge and then they, they put this clear plastic piece over it which just kind of shields it from uh, this metal piece that screws back on. Let me put this back on right there. Um, so that was a year and a half ago. So let's take a look at I'm just going to this cable that I had sitting here for a while. Now this is one that I bought recently. Let me get my little tool. Let me just take this apart real quick and see what we got in this particular one. Um, and again, not here to expose anybody, but let's let's see. So this one is a little bit better and we see they try to put, I guess on these newer ones they're putting a rubber jacket around the ground wire right there which is still a bunch of copper that could potentially up. See look this, I don't know if you can see that but this little wire is almost touching one of the live contacts. So again, not much of an improvement. Let's take a look at the other end of this which is the TRS plug 
And okay, so what we see here, and I, I don't even know what this is, it's either melted plastic or it looks like wax that's literally dumped over the, the soldering of the contacts and the, and the wires. But again, I mean, I don't think that's necessarily good. You guys be the judge and, you know, I'll leave some comments, let me know what you think. But again, if the copper from the ground is touching any of the contacts and then you mold that together with either plastic or wax or whatever it is, I mean, that's not going to create a good connection. That's not going to be a good cable regardless of having gold-plated uh, connectors or not. Um, you know, and let's, let's, take another, let's take a look at another, uh, let's see. Here's another random quarter inch or TRS. Just want to see what that looks like. Again, this you know, it's just buried in in this plastic or whatever it is. So you can't even you don't even really see what the contacts are like on the inside. So please be aware of this when you purchase cables for minor price. And let me just show you real quick what a what a good connector should look like. So again, this is the uh minor price right here, which pretty much almost broke on me and let me get that up here these this is from a year and a half ago boom broke I mean just literally just ripped ripped apart on me right there um, and this happened to three cables three cables that I got from a year and a half ago they all ripped and let me show you with a what a solid connector should look like Look at this Mogami cable. Now, yes, this is a quad uh, cable for extra extra interference shielding, but the way the soldering is done to the connector is just much better quality. Um, so now, for my patch bay, I'm just going to have to go to retco.com, buy a bunch of Mogami cable and probably Nutri connectors or you guys have any other suggestions for me um, I'll go with that but you know it's I'm disappointed in minor price uh, they definitely have great prices but um, you know for audio equipment or audio cables please be aware of what I just showed you you know you don't want your cables to be the weakest link in your uh, chain of audio signal essentially um, you know but again I have a bunch of video cables uh, DVI cables and um, HDMI cables from Monoprice that are very cheap as well and those have been working without a problem but again I'm not a video expert and I don't do much of video editing so please keep this in mind and hope uh, you got something out of this review and if you feel otherwise again leave some comments uh, thumbs up thumbs down whatever you feel um, is your opinion and I will see you guys next time peace